Okay, today for Brussels in View, we have with us uh, Chris and Peter, and they are leading lights of the charity Lion Aid. Chris, first tell us about Lion Aid and why you're in Brussels today. Well, Lion Aid was formed in 2010, and it was formed to try and arrest the catastrophic decline in lion populations. We're a charity that deals exclusively with the lion and trying to stop it sliding into extinction. We're here in Brussels today to talk with both the European Commission and to talk with CITES because what we are petitioning for at the moment is that we ban the importation of all lion trophies to come into the EU on the basis that if you don't know how many lions are left in Africa now, because that is the case, there's been no independent lion population counts for a very long time and if you don't know how many you've got left you don't know whether it's sustainable to keep hunting the lion and so we are um, putting in input into the European Commission and societies to say please can you consider this or would you consider when you meet with the other or the 28 member states would you consider banning the importation of lion trophies? Okay and Peter how do you think it went today's meeting with the Commission and CITES? Well, I think it went very well, actually, because um, today we met with the, uh, the Commission and um, they're equally concerned. And, um, you know, everybody in the world, including everybody in this square, probably knows about Cecil. And Cecil the lion is a very good case in point about what is going wrong with lion hunting. Because Cecil needed to be poached out of a national park uh, into a hunting area and, and then, you know, was shot there. Uh, to me, that indicates that uh, there are very, very few lions left because, you know, people don't intentionally go and break the law by dragging these lions out of the national park. So our contention is that there are fewer lions left than anybody thinks. And uh, my contention is that we need, as Chris was saying, we need some kind of lion count because, you know, even though the European Union says that the hunting should be based on sustainability, we don't know what sustainability is because we don't know how many lions there are. So I think what we really need to do before we continue with anything is we need to have a complete moratorium on any kind of lion trophy hunting until and unless there are some counts undertaken to see how few lions there actually are. Okay, well you mentioned Cecil there, Peter. Um, Chris, yes. on the back of Cecil, uh, the tragic death and the, and the public outrage about this, yes. how how Will this help your campaign? And in fact, how successful so far has your campaign been? Well, Cecil's death was an absolute tragedy, and like everybody else, we're incredibly sad that Cecil had to die. But the very good news about Cecil is that his death was not in vain, because until this point, the the world at large was really unaware of how endangered lions are. They're not even on the endangered list; they're only listed as vulnerable. There are only 15,000, barely 15,000 wild lions left now in the whole of Africa. And because Cecil had to die, and because he had to die in such appalling circumstances, as Peter said, he was baited out of a national park. He was wounded when he was killed, and it was 40 hours later before he was put out of his misery. That really touched the hearts of people all over the world who believe, like everybody believes, that trophy hunting, lion trophy hunting, went out in colonial times. And it, it didn't go out in colonial times. And now the world opinion is aware of Cecil and all the hundreds of thousands of lions over the years that have been killed. We can do something about it. So Cecil's death was very good, both to put the spotlight on wild lion hunting, which is why we're in Brussels here today, but also to put the spotlight on canned hunting, which is a very different industry, which is an industry where lions are bred in captivity to be ultimately shot as trophies. And that is such a cruel industry that both of those industries have had a very bright spotlight put on them because of Cecil's death. And finally, Peter, um, let's be optimistic. Um, when can we expect some, if any, movement from the EU on these um, matters? Well, they can actually move very quickly if they want to, because um, the meeting that they're holding now on the September the 15th will decide whether or not they will allow imports in from various countries. And once they make that decision, then that's it. That's, that's the end of the story from, from that country, that African country's um, possibility to import any kind of trophies into the EU. 
And the good thing about the EU is that those decisions are based on science, it's based on you know, what, what's available to them in terms of the information that they have. If they want more information, they go back to the African range state and ask them for better information. But at the end of the day, it can, the decision can be made very, very quickly. But, unfortunately, it has to be made country by country. So there won't be a blank ban. Uh, the, the EU Commission has to look at e every single country and then decide on a country by country basis whether or not they will allow future import. Okay, so a long process, but uh, room for optimism. So thank you very much and good luck uh, with the results of their thank meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed.